Good morning! It's a midsummer vlog number eight, and I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna level with you guys. I'm really, really tired today. You can hear it in my voice. I don't know if you guys have had the feeling of being really stressed out about something and then it's over and you're really relieved, but then the next day you're just like completely wiped. That's how I feel today. So today is another just sit at my desk day because uh, my co-teacher for fourth grade finished all the curriculum early so that we don't have classes anymore. So I would usually have fourth grade today, but I have no class except for my after school daycare class because those kids still come to daycare. So I'm just going to work on my day camp, uh, hopefully today. I really want to get the Lego movie downloaded today. And then, uh, and then I'll have my class and that's about it. I'm going to try to show you some more exciting things because my last vlog was pretty lame. <laughs> I feel kind of bad about it. Right now I'm just kind of chilling for a while trying to wake up and then get to work. Get to work with an E. W-E-R-K. Yeah. I'm very surprised. Usually I, oh, I usually I can't print without my co-teachers here, but look, I came out, yay! Yay, being able to do my paperwork when my co-teachers aren't in the office, yay. I just, I got excited, I thought I'd share it with you guys. These are the things I get excited about. Being able to print from my computer, it's great. So, uh, just taking a stretch break. I decided today I need to take stretch breaks. This door, this door right here, like slammed shut earlier and I was just like shaking, just like adrenaline from the sound. So, since I'm taking a stretch break, I thought I'd come over here and see if there's any more materials I could use for the summer camp. Because uh, we're using this textbook that we just found over here that I guess some previous teacher had used and at first, my co-teacher didn't think we had the audio CDs, and then I was just wandering over here, and I found it really easily. So I don't think he's very good for at uh, looking for things. So I thought I'd come back and see if they have the student cards. Let's see. Hmm. Dr. Seuss copies and all these <laughs> stereos. I had to use this in the winter because we had a we had a cassette tape for the winter camp. That was, that was interesting. Thank God I, I'm old enough to remember cassette tapes and how to use them, so. so. These are like the teacher cards which I already got for the book that we are using. What's down here? Smart, uh, oh my goodness. I don't know if there's going to be a thing I need. These are like the higher levels, which I think my students might be able to do actually, but. Let's do like pre-reading. They might be able to handle that. It just depends on which students we get. <gasps> Guys, there's kids on here. It's in Korean. Oh, the battery's running out. I have another battery. I'll go change. But oh my goodness. I wonder if any of my kids know how to play this game. I wonder if it has all the pieces. We shall investigate. All right. Can't do it. Though. like an older edition than what I have. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're like little, little settlements. Oh, and these are like, this is like the big ones. Wow, how cool is that? Where are the roads? Ah, I shall build a road. I think this is like regular Catan. It's just like a different version. So it has like different art on it. It's really pretty. I'm gonna be a nerd for a second, sorry. So some of them are resource cards, and then, and then this is, and then this is a, uh, what do you call it? Oh my god, what are they called? Uh, oh shoot. 
They call it chance card. Chance card. A chance card. Interesting. I wonder if any of my students know how to play this. I mean, the instructions are in Korean, so I could probably teach them how to play. Let's play a board game! Yay! They're called development cards. Development cards. Yes. Chance card, development card. Right. So you can buy yourself a development card, and it could have any number of points on it. I shall build a road. Child labor. <laughs> the video. More child labor. <laughs> Hello. I'm taking video. <laughs> All right, so now we're back. We were at the Grand Department Store at the Uniqlo, and it's kind of funny that they call it the Grand Department Store because it is the least grand department store in our area, but they have the biggest Uniqlo, so I'll show you what we got in a minute, but now we're eating dinner. We're, I had some pizza yesterday, so we reheated that, having a salad and some water in my Star Wars cup, and that is what is happening. Right, Grace? <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna hang out. Okay, bye. Okay, I didn't mean to go shopping, but we, I grabbed a few things in Uniqlo because it's payday! Yay! So I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so here's my little tag. So I got this shirt. It's 10 bucks! It's kind of cool, like Statue of Liberty print. Kind of cool. And then... Yes, ma'am. Grace has one too, and it says, it says, thank goodness for tea. I don't know if you can read that. Look how cute that is! Sleep shirt! And then, I got, I can hold these, I got these boxers for sleeping. Because I only have yoga pants. <laughs> anyway, what'd you get? Show, show them. I got shoes. Yeah, so she got the shoes at the department store. They're so cute. They're really cute, I like them. So, that's what we did! Yay! Doing stuff! <laughs> so yeah, we just ate and we're just, you know, shooting the shit. Yeah, just, just chilling. Just talking. <laughs> Anywho, that's about it. See you later, vlog. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel self-conscious, so I'm gonna turn it off now. Thanks, Grace! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So now Grace has gone home and I am about to look at some hairstyles because I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, yay, finally. So I'm going to get a cut and then maybe get a color. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to this guy that works in Canada for like 15 years, so he speaks really good English and some other ladies on the foreigner Facebook group for our city uh, recommended him, so I'm going to go. And he was like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, uh, I'll schedule for a color and then we'll just talk about it and see what ends up, ends up happening. But I want to bring a picture with me. So I need to figure out, I need to find something, you know, I have an idea of what I want, but it's really hard to find a picture of exactly that. Does that ever happen to you? It's really tough. I think I'll just end the vlog here for now and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Dance party, farewell. Okay, bye.